What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to talk about three different things. Um, one is uh, music that has like one hit where usually you'll probably get presented as a follow into a dip or guys, you might want to lead a lady into a dip when there's like one hit or one loud boom in the music. Yeah, second way to look at this is for the ladies, uh, how to anticipate a dip before getting actually led into it. Um, if you know the guy's capable of doing dips. So this is kind of like a safety thing for the ladies, kind of like a preparation, not a thing of like back leading and doing your own dip, but knowing musicality to the point where you know something's gonna come very soon in the music so you can kind of prepare yourself, your body to be allowed to be dipped easier just so you don't get like whiplash or all of a sudden you get into a dip and like you didn't even expect it because i know ladies you might have a lot of lower back pain right now because of all of the stuff in bachata now with all these sensual moves going on so this is kind of like a tip for the ladies as well and the last thing i'm going to talk about not in this order by the way is uh the pattern of four i talk about this in my musicality course um in the old one and the one that's to come but the new one that's coming, it's going to be a lot of different examples with the music and super, super, super detailed compared to the course that I had prior on musicality. So let's dive in. This is probably going to be a lengthy video. I'll try to keep it as short as I can, but it's a uh, it's a goodie. Um, the reason I'm looking this way is my computer's over here. So I'm going to be using the computer and going back and forth to you guys. So let's talk about this first. So pattern of four. So I've talked about in previous videos, um, the pattern of four. What is that? It's like a pattern in music that happens, yeah? I talk to my students, I always tell them you're always supposed to count when you're dancing and to the point you don't know you're counting anymore. That's like level one of like musicality and understanding things before they actually happen. There's a second level to this is understanding um, the pattern of four is you count one through eight, that's one, one through eight, that's two, one through eight, that's three, so on and so forth. After four of these go um, go by, there's usually a new transition here. They create a new pattern. They give you an opportunity to do a dip here. They do kind of a syncopation. Usually when there's something happening with syncopation, they do it on the five, six, seven, eight before the one starts. If your mind is like, let me through what are you talking about? This is too crazy. Uh, no problem. There's like, again, I have a course just dedicated um, a section on this. So if none of this is making sense, it's okay. Um, but if you did take that class, that musicality class, you're, you're probably going to make a little bit more sense of this. So here's the thing, what happens. I'll give you a little review again. You count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that last eight, usually in the middle of the song, different points of the song, two, maybe three times in the song, they give you an opportunity to dip in sensual style bachata, urban style bachata. Yeah. So in this video, we're going to talk about things with one hit. There's going to be other videos that we make, like what do you do when, when there's two hits, like a boom, boom. What do you do when there's three hits, like tak, 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 or so on and so forth, tiki, 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 kung, kung, whatever. So in this case we're talking about one hit anytime you hear one hit is usually the best thing to do is a dip um and the most common thing i'm gonna play a song um johnny sky quiereme um but i i kind of know the pattern of music again if you know that pattern of four you know a lot of music follows that pattern yeah so if we know the blueprint we know what kind of to expect <laughs> Here we go. So I'm going to start counting after I hear the pattern change. So something's funky going on. I know it's going to start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's the last count. And five, six, seven, and one, two, three. So I would start counting again. But... While I'm dancing, I'm like, I know that dip is coming. Even if I don't, once I'm finished with that last count, I'm kind of anticipating something to happen. So say, for example, let me move around here for a little bit. So say it's the fourth count. Yeah, so I'm on the fourth count. So I have one, two, three, four. Right here 
if the music is like do -do 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 -do, like it's going crazy and i know something might come i'm gonna give the ladies a double turn here double turn five six seven i'm gonna bring them in close for the eight so if i hear a boom i'm gonna dip them right in that boom and then bring them up to match the music yeah but say for example you're like you're barely learning this technique and there's no dip or there's no boom after that fourth count it's okay just give her the double turn boom and then go back into a basic yeah but if you're already preparing yourself to get you to yourself in, in a position a dip you're gonna be ready for it in terms of uh hitting the music yeah so i do this with a lot of moves yeah so sometimes when i'm on the fourth count i'll bring the let me get a closer i'll bring the ladies into me yeah to be able to dip them or i can do like a syncopated hit like a boom 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 whatever and if not i'll just do a basic in place and get out of it but again uh we'll talk about the multiple hits later this is just for a dip as a lady um or follower knowing this pattern of music or the pattern of four by the time the fourth count happens yeah and you're doing your styling or whatever during that basic, I'd kind of be like a little bit more relaxed. I wouldn't try to do footwork or anything or put yourself in a complicated situation with the guy um, because he's thinking like, yeah, I'm a dip. But if you start doing like some booty roll and it's like that boom is coming and you're like in the middle of something and he's going to be like, Brah! and your body's going to be like, Trah! and then you get that back pain right here. So good. You feel it on the end of the night is no good. Yeah. So knowing this on that fourth count, preparing yourself for that dip yeah or allow or just knowing that it's coming it's gonna kind of like save your body a little bit yeah so that's a little a little tip for the ladies yeah i know you guys are like at the mercy of the leaders you can't really control what the guy's gonna give you but knowing musicality will help prevent injuries yeah so it's kind of more of a safety thing on the followers part um to kind of just prevent getting injured yeah um, a lot of guys will still lead dips in a wrong way or do things in crazy times of the music. Um, this is why I'm trying to make these videos to prevent that. Um, what was I going to say right now? I got I had a brain fart. Anyway, so a little tip for the guys, just because I just said that. You never want to dip a girl just to dip a girl just because you know how to dip. Like, wait for the music to ask for it. One, so they can kind of prepare for it, like I said in this previous comment. Um, but if you're just dipping, like, in random spot, one, it doesn't make sense with the music. Two, the music will have sections where it asks for that. But if you already used up all of your dips, like, and then you're just doing it again to do it, it's, it's not going to be, a like, a nice dance, a nice structured dance. Yeah, when you have a... A lot of musicality that makes sense that's what creates like oh wow that was a, an amazing dance it wasn't just like moves and dips moves and dips at random times um so again let me play that example again so my thing is in the first three counts yeah i can still dance but in the fourth one i'm not gonna be in the middle of a move to put myself in an awkward situation and dip the girl. Yeah. So if I'm dancing one, I can turn her, I can do a loop, I know that's the second count. I can turn, I know that's the third count, so I'm getting ready. Here's the fourth count, the prep. Turn, 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 and dip. Bring them up, one, yeah. So that's kind of like my style like i'll dance for the three counts doing whatever moves i know i'll go back to the basic of my fourth count so i'm in an easy position to dip the girl hopefully this is making sense and i'm just not just crazy blabbing um let me give you one more example the next song is shivery is dead a mix that dj solchik did to that trevor wesley song same thing it has a uh, that pattern of four and it has a, a hit at the end let's see where it's at so here's my thing like the music will always have that pattern of four but remember after that fourth count something might not happen yeah but i i still reset the count and then start over again to see if they're going to do it in the next four. So I'll kind of play it before it actually happens. How do I know when the actual one starts, that first one through eight? 
is when I hear a different pattern in the music. So if I start it like randomly, I won't start counting there because I don't know. It just sounds like it's in the middle of a pattern right now. So I'll wait. Boom, right there, that's the Risa. So one. I'm expecting to change here. Doodle, kutong, go. So it's picking up. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can feel it and it's coming. Five, six, seven, and dip. Yeah, is that starting to make sense? So, usually, again, I'm following this pattern, especially with sensual urban style bachata songs. I'm always following that pattern of force so I know when I can dip the ladies. This is like the probably easiest way to play with the music is with the dip. And as a leader, you want to have like two dips in your like library of moves. So you want to have like a flashy one that you can do on intermediate advanced dancers. And you want to have one that you feel like you really can support the girl. Something really safe, not too crazy, but that you can lead with anybody. So you can still implement it even if you're dancing with a beginner and you just want to hit it just like a little bit you don't want to take them all the way down or something yeah always take care of the ladies gentlemen yeah the ladies are getting dips left and right after every dance there's a lot of sensual moves and back bends and all these crazy things that are happening don't overdo it this is the perfect opportunity now to actually do it when the music is acting for it not just dipping um whenever you want so those are I'm trying to use common songs that you'll hear and not just do like a random song. Um, let me do one last song in case you prefer Dominican style bachata. So I always use this song in my courses just because it does it the best. Medices. So this guy, Dominican style bachata, he's still following the pattern of four. He does what's called a nine bar phrase. I will not go over that in this video because that's like a whole like 20 minute speech. Um, but he does this thing where the music resets every four counts. But he also does a little hit like a tan, tagadang um after the fourth hit. So I'm always, even in Dominican style bachata, I'm trying to listen to every pattern of four in the music. So I know when to hit something like with my feet. Um, so I can kind of anticipate it before it happens. So if I'm listening, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, 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 two. Yeah, Dominican style bachata, highly recommended. Don't dip a girl in Dominican style bachata. It's not really the style. Um, I mean, you can, but if somebody really knows and they're watching you and like, they're going to be like, yo, he's doing dips and stuff to like sensual or is doing dips to Dominican style bachata. So you kind of want to match the flavor, what the music is asking for. Dominican style is a little bit more relaxed, more chill, more musicality. It's not so much body rolls, waves, dips, crazy stuff. Just enjoy the music sprinkle footwork here and then just because it's dominican you're gonna be like footwork all day like diggy, 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 diggy. like dance you know like dance basic whatever throw some footwork here you can give the tur the ladies a turn here and there go back to footwork but you don't want to over exaggerate it and outshine your partner with too much footwork yeah so when i hear that again i'm not gonna dip the girl i'm just gonna play with some footwork yeah so if i'm here i'll, I'll do it like because i'm just in my room so if I'm here and I'm dancing, basic. So in that last video, I got too excited and I hit the play button, so it stopped the video. So let me redo that again. Um, so same pattern of four. Five, six, seven, eight, one. Again, Dominican style bachata. I would just be doing footwork here, a little turn pattern, nothing crazy. It's Dominican style bachata, don't go crazy. Five, six, seven, eight. So instead of dipping, I'll be here. And I can hit that, and basic, two, three, four, five. 
so again i was talking about dips earlier this isn't a footwork video or dominican style bachata video but and it happens in dominican style bachata the whole pattern of four so i know when to expect footwork yeah so i hope this video helped a little bit this video is uh it's kind of more intermediate advanced if you want to call it that because beginners were already thinking about a lot of stuff and now we got to think about the music at the same time that we're dancing so this video is also going to help a lot if you have followed my musicality courses or taken my musicality courses because we talk about this pattern of four a lot and there's stuff that you got to study before you get to the pattern of four to this for this to make sense but some people get it right away as soon as they say it so and again in this forum i'm going to be throwing beginner tips intermediate tips advanced tips so some of this stuff might not make sense it might go like this but it's okay stay tuned for future videos where again i'll be going over beginner stuff intermediate stuff advanced stuff same thing for the ladies um my partner will go over beginner intermediate ladies styling tips and all different angles if you like this video comment below let me know what you think let me know if you got anything out of it if it helps if it didn't help or some other things relating to this video that you would like to see in the future or in the future course that's coming soon let me know. See you guys in the next video.